Take two. Take two, take two. Uh, la bienvenida a nuestra iglesia, Jesús es Cristo. Amén. Amén. Bravo. Pero me lamo para la lama. Me introduce uh, myself in Spanish. Buenas tardes, hermanos, hermanas. Me llamo Victoria. Hello. Hi, I'm Richard. How about Spanish. Tamay? Enriquez, patok! Eh, siyempre, Tagalog na sa akin. Teka lang, ba't English yung akin? Eh, siyempre, yun ang mali. Ang gara, ginawa akong pansito. Okay. Kaya kayo, kaya kayo. Kaya kayo. Buti na lang, madali sa akin. Tagalog. Patok! Thanks, Lord. Ako nga po pala, si Maynard Mercado. Ah, <laughs> bumabati po sa... <laughs> Ako po si Rinard Margado, isang Batanggenyo. Proud to be Batanggenyo. Alaheng! Alaheng! <laughs> ah, sa mga Bisaya dyan, meron po ba mga taga-Bisaya dyan? Mayong hapon, kaibigan. Mayong hapon, tanan, sa mga Cebuana. At sa mga... Sige po ba mga na dito? Ah, mga Bigulano, may Bigulano dito. Oh. Maray na hapon. Mga Bigulano. <laughs> At sa mga Taga Laguna. Alam ko, mga Taga Laguna dito yun. Praise the Lord. Ay, kumusta ay. <laughs> At sa mga kaibigan po namin taga Batangas at mga kaibigan po taga Batangganyo. Ala, ay, kumusta ka? <laughs> so, ano, sumula tayo. And praise the Lord, we welcome the presence of our first timers. Uh, we hope that this is not only the first time. This is only just the beginning. Thank you so much. The beginning. Amen. Uh, let's go May we call the leaders of our life groups, please, to describe the okay. representative of each life group? Inspired by our, um, in general, how we eat. <laughs> uh, we use spoons for the star to make a star shape because we wanted to put the concept of be it being recycled. And then as a border, we use uh, cups. So like, it's important to have spoons and cups when you eat. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's what we put it to say. <laughs> From the top, the, the lights represent that the light has come to the world because the world was full of dark, darkness and the star, which is the lights, represents Jesus Christ. And then John 3, 16, you can see the globe made so, it made so made of newspaper balloon and a plastic net. It represents John 3.16. It means that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish. And then the star represents... The star represents the seasons of our lives. That whatever we, we will experience, Emmanuel was sent to the world means God is with us. So it means that in all seasons of our lives, Emmanuel is with us through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the and the uh, sprinkles or the uh, those the colorful uh, small thing it represents that let Jesus shine in us. It means that not only shining is that Jesus Christ, the love of God through Jesus Christ shines in our heart. And then we declare that Jesus is Lord over the world. From the 
This is great joy, John 316. For God, for God sent his only begotten son that represents Jesus Christ. And then, the nativity, it means that the humility of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was born in the manger, but it doesn't mean that he is poor. It means that for our God will supply our, our needs for his riches in glory. Because Jesus Christ is our wonderful, our counselor, everlasting, our uh, Prince of Peace, and our Lord and Savior. So we, uh, we just want to glorify God through the hands of the people among the Woodside Life group. Star of Bethlehem. As you can see, uh, it's all made of 100% scrap materials, recycling materials with Coca-Cola. Even the ribbons are made from the wrapper, from the bottles of Coca-Cola. And um, as you can see, the silver balls, where it's made of tissue paper and candy wrappers. Now, why recycling materials in application to our wrapper? We're all, we're all once bad and not in the light, and yet, we, if you put it all together, we could still be using a better way to nice way, as an example of this time. Thank you, Hi, I'm Sister Hazel. In behalf of the Hospital Life Group, I would like to present to you our native parole. So the idea of having a parole making contest is very exciting to us that we thought immediately of making a native parole wherein the materials to be used are mostly found in the Philippines. But the idea of using muscle shells didn't come up at first until we were having dinner in one of our life group meetings. One of our members, Sister Sarah, is a nurse and was telling us the benefits of eating muscles for breastfeeding women like me. So, so over the course of our conversation, the group came up with the idea of why not recycle the muscle shells and use them to make the parole. That's why we came up to this. So the parole is made up of mostly of muscle shells, seashells which we are um, which were handpicked by Sister Vicky from the beach during her summer vacation and a baka. So the base is made up of an old cardboard bullet buying box and an old hula hoop that is thrown out by one of our members' neighbors. And we bought a sheet lead light from the dollar store and placed it inside the star. Also, we pointed, uh, printed out Isaiah 9 verse 6 to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ, which is the true meaning of Christmas. So some of you might ask if muscle shells are recyclable materials. So I, I decided to do my research and share it with you. And I found out that people use them to make ornaments inside the house, like tiles, and um, also even made them as fashionable clothes. Also, in many other places, such as New Zealand and Chesapeake Bay, they use them to build reefs, landscaping, forestry roads, and a, a natural fertilizer for their crops. So thank you for listening, and I hope you like our panel. Because these are our lantern. Praise the Lord. Um, we, would, we would like to present our lantern. This is number five. This is from the Baxter Life Group. And the lantern made of all recyclable materials. Consists of bamboo stick and hula hoop for the frame. And the recyclable things are the plastic the red plastic cups, newspapers, and aluminum foil. You can see it on the front of the parole, I mean, the, from the lantern. And uh, the cover of that ring, it's made of full aluminum foil. So it's right there. Anyway, we also crumpled some blue print papers and cutouts, uh, a royal blue color for the uh, glossy paper bags to reflect the color of the blue and the, and the red, which, which is inside the lantern. And the last project that we have is the tail. And believe me, brothers and sisters, it was made with a lot of trials and error, which means, or others says that these are samples because of different ideas, imaginations, and perception. But anyway, we did this, as a result, we did this full for the glory of God because um, this project that we made from the Baxter Life Group became, we uh, we binded together, we became more stronger 
in God's faith, love, and unity. And as we resolve, uh, we connected to each other. Although we are not biologically family as well in the Baxter cycle, but we believe that because of our God who works to all of us, we did our best to that lantern. Thank you so much. <laughs> The Lord. First, I want to thank the Holy Spirit for inspiring us and uniting uh, Linda and Life Group to do this parole. Uh, we imitate our parole from the star of David, which become the adopted symbol by the Jewish people. So, as you notice, uh, hindi po five uh, pointed uh, triangles, but it was six. Six point ten triangles. And the six pointed uh, triangles, the two triangles represent the difference inherent in man. Good versus evil and spiritual versus physical. And the two triangles represents the reciprocal relationship between the Jewish people and God. And the uh, triangle pointing up symbolizes our good deeds which go up to heaven. And then activate a flow of goodness back down to the world symbolizes by the uh, triangle pointing down so uh, the six uh, pointed stars represents the uh, the north the east the south the west the ups and down kaya po six pointed uh, triangle so it means um yung nasa center po which is jesus is lord church uh, jesus is lord it means that jesus is lord over the is the center of everything. Jesus is the center of the seven continents. Jesus is Lord all over the nations. So, praise the Lord po and lahat pong ginamit namin are recycled. Our aim to be exact this coming 2016. So, back to back because we are uh, going to uh, bring each one bring one and the star is the let our light shine upon us as we focus on evangelism and why it is wrong also because the unity when we when we made that after our bible study of course there is good so when we have the food we use the bowl or the sopas and we wash it and of course if you are thirsty you drink also so we make everybody uh everybody is making this uh, uh, like the, the flower so that is the outcome so to get me the glory we are in the spirit of christmas that's why the paroles are here to glorify and signify the spirit of christmas thank you praise the lord hallelujah criteria on creativity and craftsmanship it should be the parole should be very impressive and outstanding in the quality of design and work by hand originality original idea and very artistic and overall impact is exceptional amazing and extraordinary so let's go let's call on the third prize third prize wala bang ano ayan third prize goes to parol number Yeah. 
Antigua and for evangelization and for your Bible study.